Congress MP Mauwa Moitra has often made headlines for her fiery speeches and flabbergasting questions in Parliament. This time, it is no different. Her questions have made it to the news, but with a tag of being a cash for query. BJP MP Nishikan Dubey has gone ahead and filed a complaint against Mauwa Moitra in the Lok Sabha's committee on October 15. He stated that the questions she asked on March 16 of 2022 were backed by a leading businessman named Darshan Hiranandani. He wrote to the Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla requesting to book Moitra under a breach of privilege, contempt of the House as well as criminal offences under Section 120A of the IPC. Mawa Moitra had questioned the reports of a government ban on 54 apps in the previous year. This has raised several questions on the TMC MP. Minister of State for Electronics and Technology Rajiv Chandrasekhar took to X to express his views on the ongoing complaint. He said that if the reports of Moitra asking parliamentary questions at the behest of a data centre company are true, then it's indeed shocking and shameful. He also questioned Hiranandani's business, saying it is true that this company was actively and aggressively lobbying for data localization. So who exactly is Darshan Hiranandani? He is the son of real estate billionaire Niranjan Hiranandani. He heads the Hiranandani real estate business in UAE and India. He is the founder of several businesses under the Hiranandani banner, including Thase Platforms, which is a tech-enabled customer services business, Yota Infrastructure Solutions, which looks into data centers, co-location, as well as tech services. Greenbase, this is a brand that deals with industrial and warehousing spaces nationwide, as well as Edge Energy Group, which deals with environmentally safe and sustainable energy solutions. He's also the MD of Nidar Group since 2016 and is the CEO of Hiranandani Communities. His companies majorly deal with data and offer data services to its clients. So how is Darshan Hiranandani linked to this whole controversy? The government had issued an order to ban 54 apps in 2022, which used data localization, citing them to be a security threat to India. Moitra had then questioned the move by the BJP-led government, which has now sparked this controversy. According to Rajiv Chandrasekhar, the questions submitted by Moitra were framed in a very similar manner to the way Hiranandani's firm spoke to him recently. He also said that Hiranandani's company was actively and aggressively lobbying for data localization, thus raising questions on both the TMC MP as well as Darshan Hiranandani. So what then is data localization? Data localization refers to storing and processing data within a specific geographic location. Data localization is also an essential part of the government's flagship Atmanirbhar Bharat scheme, which aims to prevent any monopoly in the domain. Dube claims that Anand Deharia, an advocate, has shared irrefutable evidence of bribes between Moitra and Darshan Hirandani to ask questions in Parliament in exchange for cash and gifts. Moitra has outrightly denied these allegations, labelling them false and also referred to Anand Deharia as her jilted ex who's spreading lies. She also said that she's open to a CBI investigation on this matter as well as all the other allegations which were false and held no value. So what were these questions put forth by Mauwa Moitra? She has gone ahead and filed a defamation case against Dubey. The allegations have angered her quite a bit and the TMC MP has furiously taken to Twitter and also denied all of these false claims. Moitra has also moved the Delhi High Court charging the BJP MP Nishkan Dubey as well as advocate Anand Deharia and a few media organisations with a defamation case on October 17th for circulating this defamatory material against her. She stated that due to past feuds as well as clashes, Dubey is just trying to take revenge and showcasing his personal enmity and political vendetta. Claims have also been made that images shared by BJP leader Preeti Gandhi are edited as Dubey has morphed himself out of those, hence framing it incorrectly. In fact, on October 20th, Mauva Moitra's case took an unexpected turn in the Delhi High Court as senior advocate Gopal Shankar Narayanan 
who was representing Moitra, withdrew from the case as the court wrapped him for playing mediator. Meanwhile, in a tell-all affidavit, Hira Randani claims that Moitra made frequent demands of him and also had given him her parliament credentials. The affidavit will be looked into by the Parliament's Ethics Committee on October 26, while the Delhi High Court has adjourned the matter for now and will take it up on October 31st.